let's establish one thing before I begin. The vast majority of aircraft in service with both NATO air forces and the Russians are modern, but interestingly many of these nations still operate limited numbers of aircraft that date from the mid-1940s through to the late 1950s, during the height of the Cold War between NATO and the Warsaw Pact. Some World War II era aircraft do remain in service today, primarily upgraded C-47s, but this video is not focusing on World War II era planes, which I've already covered in a previous program, link in the end screen. So why are late 1940s and 1950s planes still in military service today? Because they are still useful and have been progressively upgraded since entering service, indeed some types remain in production today. All the aircraft featured in this video date from the late 1940s to the end of the 1950s, or put another way, from the time of Harry S. Truman and Josef Stalin, Dwight D. Eisenhower and Nikita Khrushchev, which I think you can agree is a very long time ago for most of us. From old trainers to transports and even frontline combat aircraft, these flying relics of a different era soldier on, some on opposite sides of the current war in Ukraine. Let's begin in the mid-1940s, just before NATO was created. Three nations currently operate aircraft from this period, the oldest being Portugal's seven de Havilland Canada DHC-1 Chipmunk basic trainers, the type first entering military service in 1946. A two-seat, single-engine primary trainer, Portugal is the last military user of this venerable plane. Two NATO nations still have aircraft dating from 1947. In fact, the same type, the Soviet Antonov An-2, a single-engine biplane noted for its durability, high lifting power, and ability to take off and land on rough airstrips. NATO member Latvia keeps three in service as transports, while Bulgaria has one, used for paratrooper training. The 1950s were famous for their aircraft, and one remains firmly in service today, the B-52 Stratofortress. First entering United States Air Force service in 1955, 74 upgraded airframes are still flying today. The long-range subsonic jet bomber, the last ones were built in 1962 when John F. Kennedy was in the White House. But the US plans to keep the type in service until at least the 2050s, by which time the type will be approaching 100 years old. In fact, the US has several other 1950s-era aircraft types still in service in 2022. The venerable Lockheed C-130 Hercules is used by many NATO countries in many forms, but in fact this famous aircraft first entered service in 1956. The US Air Force currently has 192 on its books. The most numerous 1950s aircraft still in US service is the Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker, which entered service in 1957. The US Air Force currently has 394 KC-135 R and T versions in service. One of the most famous US aircraft of the Cold War, the U-2 spy plane, is still used for high-altitude reconnaissance missions, flying to the edge of space.
dating from 1957, 30 Dragon Ladies are currently in U.S. service. The United States Marine Corps keeps 12 Northrop F-5N Tiger II aggressors in service in 2022, the type dating from 1959. These planes will stay in the USMC until 2026. Another old U.S. aircraft in service, though not with the American Air Force, is the North American T-2 Buckeye. Forty of these jet trainers, which first entered service in 1959, are still flying with the Hellenic Air Force in Greece. The iconic McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom, dating to 1958, is currently operated by one NATO country, Turkey. The Turkish Air Force has 48 upgraded F-4 Terminator 2020 versions. The late 1950s Soviet MiG-21 is still used by two NATO nations. Romania has between 23 and 28 upgraded MiG-21 Lancers, the MiG-21 first entering Soviet service in 1959. NATO member Croatia also has 12 MiG-21 BD UMD versions currently on strength. And finally there is Russia. The Russian Air Force currently has three 1950s dated aircraft serving alongside more modern types. The Antonov AN-12 transport aircraft dates to 1959, with around 104 still serving in the Russian Air Force and Navy. Another older transport is the Ilyushin IL-18 from 1958. Three serve in the Russian Air Force and one in the Navy in 2022. Our final 1950s plane is one of the most recognizable, the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear Bomber, dating to 1956. The last turboprop bomber still in use today, the Russian Air Force has 42 in service, with the new Tu-95 MSM version entering service in 2020. The Tu-95MS remains a strategic missile-carrying bomber, but seemingly from another age at first glance. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.